Hello, my name is Quinn Lowen, and today I'll be speaking about Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 and commercial albacore tuna fishing. This is a particularly important topic to me as I've been commercial fishing for tuna for the last 13 years. I found that commercial albacore tuna fishing, CATIV, has aspects of Web 2.0. There are also aspects of Web 1.0 that inhibits it from being from collective success. The particular species of tuna that we target has a migratory range of just about the whole Pacific Ocean. Uh, the fish come right up to Vancouver Island and can swim to a maximum of 80 kilometers an hour. Due to their large migratory range and fast swimming speeds, it was necessary for fishermen to share information such as catch rates and catch locations. Fish are caught by trolling lures which imitate a squid behind the boat. Each fish is pulled in individually by hand and flash frozen at sea. Fish, commercial fishermen communicate either by VHF radio, satellite phones, or through email via very low speed internet connection. <laughs> so why should we care about this topic? Well, I believe that my research is, would provide a valuable tool for the layperson, fishermen, and fisheries managers from a sociological perspective on a relevant and local industry. Some of the analogies between Web 2.0 and CATIF are collective intelligence, we see in Web 2.0 we have uh, a general sharing of information such as in Wikipedia, uh, open source programming in Firefox. Now this is also present in commercial albacore tuna fishing as I mentioned earlier with sharing of catch locations and catch rates. We also see resource sharing in Web 2.0 where there is a, a sharing of excess process power. Um, the sharing in CATIF is mainly in the form of gear, food, and uh, equipment parts. Transactions are made at sea, from boat to boat. And we see a user trust in Web 2.0 in the form of uh, a general distrust of um, <clears throat> what mainstream media portrays as, as honest media. And we saw the advent of blogs kind of to, uh, to um, work against uh, that force. And we also see that in commercial al albacore tuna fishing um, where fishermen trust other fishermen. They're less likely to trust uh, fisheries managers or uh, biologists. Some of the motivations and factors why we see these uh, analogies between the two. Um, as I mentioned, there's that huge migratory range of the fish and their fast swimming speed which made it advantageous to share information between fishermen. Um, the resource sharing is largely because of the harsh environment. Um, oftentimes there'll be equipment breakdowns at sea, so it's necessary for fishermen to share their equipment while they're at sea. And there's that them versus us mentality that as a fisherman, other fishermen know best, uh, the best way to do it, rather than say, uh, a biologist who, you know, they just, they just push pencils, they don't really know how to fish. So there's that uh, user trust between users. Some analogies between Web 1.0 and CATIF are this information hoarding. We see in Web 1.0 we have um, a strong emphasis on uh, copywriting and uh, in Microsoft, for example, there's this releasing of software that you have to buy, there's no option, you just have to keep buying and keep buying it. And in commercial fishing there's also information sharing where I may not want to share to you where I caught these fish because well then you're going to come and, and catch my fish as, as many fishermen see it. And so there, there's a need for information sharing but there's also a, a, a hoarding of information and maybe sharing just to particular individuals. And there's also this top-down model that we see in Web 1.0 where uh, mainstream media kind of determines what we consume as the consumer for, for media. Uh, we see this in, in commercial albacore tuna fishing 
where the buyer, the fish buyer, determines what we're paid for our fish. Some of the factors are that whatever fish that I catch and bring back to the dock is what I get paid for. It doesn't really matter what you as a fisherman bring back to the dock. Um, so there's, there's an incentive to share, but there's also this, well, I'm going to worry about myself because that's, at the end of the day, that's, that's what I'm getting paid for. Um, and there's a feeling of unequal contributions. Some fishermen will share more information than others, which leads to this feeling that not everybody's pulling their weight, and so there will be more information hoarding when, when a fisherman feels that way. And then there's the, the independent nature of fishermen. They are quite um, reliant on themselves and often feel that they can do the best by themselves without other people's influence. And as I mentioned, the fish buyers control of, of the price of fish. So what happens if we don't adopt Web 2.0 or don't adopt more attributes to CADIF? Well, I propose that there'll be a reduced catch rate and there'll be more and more misunderstandings between the layperson, the fishermen, and fisheries managers. I propose that if we do adopt more, we are going to see increased catch rates, increased autonomy, mainly in the form of uh, co uh, cooperatives between fishermen, which could then control the price of the fish that are sold, and reduce misunderstandings. With more information sharing, there is less likely for misunderstandings. Thank you.